for John Doe number two. In fact, they ordered their agents not to look for him and sent out instructions to all police departments and agencies that there was no John Doe number two, that Timothy McVeigh and uh, Terry Nichols were the only participants in the bombing and not to look for anybody else. How about that? They're doing the same thing today with Osama bin Laden, and that's where I've been getting at. Can you believe what you have been seeing on CNN today, ladies and gentlemen? Can you believe it? <laughs> Supposedly, a CNN reporter found Osama bin Laden, took a television camera crew with him, went into Osama bin Laden's hideout, interviewed him and his top leadership, his top lieutenants and colonels and generals in their hideout. This is a CNN reporter with a camera crew. And he came out and told everybody, within three weeks, Osama bin Laden is going to attack the United States and Israel. Now, don't you think that's kind of strange, folks? You see, because the largest intelligence apparatus in the world, with the biggest budget in the history of the world, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and can't find him. The FBI also, under the leadership of Louis Free, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and years and years and many years and can't find him. Some doofus jerk-off reporter with a camera crew waltzes right into his hideout and interviews him. And you know what his budget is? <laughs> Zip, zilch, nothing. Now, that tells us two things. Either everyone in the intelligence community and all of the intelligence agencies of the United States government are blithering idiots and incompetent fools, including the entire apparatus of the FBI and all of their personnel, or they're lying to us. They're not looking for him at all. And the second is the truth. You see, the CIA created Osama bin Laden. They recruited him. They trained him. They found his leadership. They brought them all together. They showed him them how to fight the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. And when that was over, they still continued to fund him and train him. And they're now using him to help bring about world government by making him the big boogeyman because they can't use Saddam Hussein anymore. Did you ever hear of Osama bin Laden before you heard of Saddam Hussein? When did you start hearing of Osama bin Laden? It was after Saddam Hussein and Iraq were supposedly neutralized in the Gulf War. Because they needed a new boogeyman. But they're not looking for Osama bin Laden because I'm telling you right now, if I were the head of the Central Intelligence Agency, within two weeks I would have him dead or in custody without fail. Without fail. If I had those assets and that money, he would be mine. I would own his terrorist ass within two weeks without fail. A reporter from CNN and his little camera crew got in to Osama bin Laden's secret hideout and conducted an interview. If you don't believe me, tune in to CNN. They're probably running it right now as I'm speaking. And if you believe it, you are one of the stupidest jerks that ever lived on the face of this earth. And whatever is going to happen that they're going to blame on Osama bin Laden, don't you even believe it. <laughs> 